Department of State Services has invited a journalist in Plato State, Masara Kim, for questioning over a report exposing potential attacks in some farming communities by Esme. Kim is expected to appear at the DSS office in Joss on Monday, September 21st. His invitation comes amidst a crackdown on free speech by the secret police under President Muhammadu Buhari's administration. Kim on Friday published a story on his website reporting the killing of a mobile police officer and a civilian in Malul, Dafo village under Buko's local government area. The policeman who was on special duty and won Sati Bulos were ambushed on a motorbike around 8.30 p.m. on Thursday. As part of his, of his story, Kim exposed meetings held by Fulani groups in the state to purchase weapons and resume hostilities on farming villages, information he attributed to trusted sources. The report said a meeting of Fulani Hesme leaders held on Monday in Fas, a native community in Bakinladi local government area, displaced and renamed Tafawa by Hesme, allegedly resolved to resume hostilities in Dafu and three other Plato communities before December 2020. Sources say 1.3 million naira was raised through free will donations at the meeting, with additional levies placed on each header family for the purchase of arms. The meeting reportedly followed a similar meeting in Joss Central Mosque on August 16, 2020, where over 2 million naira was raised for arms, but the contact sent for the purchases in Niger Republic never returned. It is, un it is not clear if they were arrested or they simply absconded. Nigerian officials, however, recently announced the arrest of two people with arms and ammunition heading to Joss, but yet confirmed if they were the headers errant men. The mission was assigned while a follow-up meeting held in Bida, Niger State, where more strategies for the annexing of native communities in central Nigeria were discussed. It was gathered. During the latest meeting in Fast Village, sources confirmed the reward of six headers last year arrested over various attacks but given first-class treatment in custody. The reward was, however, for their courage in not disclosing their networks. It was learned. If true violent crimes involving Hesme are likely to persist in view of the growing impunity, rewards and luxuries given arrested, suspected, arrested suspects, more people would want to participate in crimes for the rewards involved. The tourism experience of having to lodge in exotic facilities as reported by the released suspects or the dare to test the security might, which appears to be increasingly weakening, weakening against headers. The DSS recently extended three similar invitations to Obadiah Melafia, former central bank deputy governor, over comments he made about the alleged sponsor of insecurity in the country. He has since, been, he has since cried out that his life was in danger. So, 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 what more can we say? What more can we say? We have been seeing, I've been hearing a lot of things. Uh, and I think it is crystal clear to everybody the direction of the whole thing. It is crystal clear. It is crystal clear. We know what is happening in all your states. We know what is happening in the southeast. And the southeast IPOV members have given warning to this Mieti Allah. We know how these people are being pampered. We know what is happening in Castina. They are begging them. They want to give them. They, uh, they want to give them incentives. They want to. I don't know. So they are pampering them with gifts. That if you do this, we are going to do this. If we do this, and they are spending billions of naira. At the end of the day, also no avail. Nobody is arrested. But the only thing they are doing is to negotiate with them. They over. They already have a repentant uh, a a bandit. You know we we already have a repentant uh, boko members but this one is bandit so no no arrest is being made no arrest is being made Brusai will be blowing hot air will be intimidating people will be threatening people he wants to declare a state of emergency to a whole region <laughs> where there is peace where people are doing their own thing we've never heard that there is clash between 
anybody and the, this thing is only the s men that are always looking for their trouble when you always hear about ipop is when the security people will go and meet them these people will be going for their barrier you will go and meet them with all this information are all at are, are the masses or the citizens supposed to be giving information that the dss is supposed to know the incident that happened in abuja even when the custom custom department gave an information that something of such of such could happen the DSS did not do anything. The security people did not even take action. But they allowed it to happen. And it happened up to now. Nobody's even saying anything. We don't even know whether those people that were captured, whether they have been released or not. We don't know. Hmm. Hey, hey. I don't even know what to say. You, you know what is happening. You know what is happening. And thank God for, for, for social media because Brutai will come and tell you, oh, stop listening to what is happening on, uh, uh, on social media because they know that you cannot guard them. So to a very large extent, you can't even guard them. It is only those conventional TV stations and radio stations that you can try to pin down. They will not want them to say anything. And once you, see, if you are wearing, you are, you, are, you are listening or watching all these uh, conventional TV and radios, you will see the way they will be trying, they will try to be packaging their, their, I don't know uh, what do they call them. They are guests. Oh, you don't have to say this. Oh, you have to be careful. They will quickly put a disclaimer. No, the the, the station does not have anything to do with uh, the points of view or the viewpoints of uh, their guests. They will try not to make you say some things. They will just tell you, ah, you have to be careful. You don't have to use this word. You don't need to use this word because everybody is being watched. Everybody is being watched because nobody wants to go uh, the way others have gone. Well, anyone who speaks about uh, this uh, Fulani yes, man gets an invitation to DSS. What a shame for Nigeria, Buhari's government. May we never see this kind of government again forever. Hmm. Nigeria, which way? Instead of DSS to be the one getting the information, they are the ones to get the information. Do you think they don't know about it? They know it, but they will be surprised that other people know it and they believe that if you know it, you have no right to say it. If you say anything, maybe they will just call you to warn you that it should just stop talking about it stop talking about it the security agencies are in support of the crimes committed by a certain group of people that is why crimes are increasing may god help us it's just an invitation not intimidation it's we have bet it will have been better for dss uh thank this guy for this vital information as we as he's more or less doing their job they won't see it that way and some christians and many southerners never see the handwriting on the wall in the name of love and religion, Ugao. The so-called presidency, the so-called presidency, DSS Fulani bandits were allies in all the things happening in this country. We should not be surprised. Pray for disintegration of Nigeria, or Nigeria will deal with you. So, guys, let's hear your opinion. Leave your comment below on this uh, whole thing.